Hi everyone, Misty Vale here, and we're back with some Ranch of River Shine. Eloise has uh, added a new feature to the beta. It is called the Retirement Pasture, and for those who don't know, that means that instead of doing what I did earlier and like in a previous video, selling your entire herd, if you have horses that you want to keep but they're out of potential or you don't want to breed them anymore but you really are attached and you don't want to let them go, you put them in the retirement pasture and that means you can keep them. So for a mere 42,000 gold, you can have Liam build your retirement pasture and I will show you where this retirement pasture is. And if you come out of your house and you go to the left, you see right in front of us, there is a new thing right up this hill. And so in the retirement pasture, you don't have to worry about feeding your horses and you don't have to worry about the shelter or brushing. You cannot go in and pet them, however, but this is the retirement pasture. So you see that they have a nice pond. They have a sandy thing. There's their fodder. There's their shelter back there. And so to do this, you would walk up and interact, hit E. And it gives you a list of all your active horses. And so let's say I want to put, uh, let's just say chocolate sprinkle. So this is what pops up. It gives you all her information in the middle. Um, and then it's, it's management. Foals, pregnant, nursing mares can't be retired. Sick horses need to be cared for before they can re retire. Horses placed in the retirement pasture will lose any potential they ever had. Most of mine don't have potential anymore. Horses staying in the retirement pasture will stay healthy, clean, and well-fed during their stay. Retired horses can be taken out at any time as long as there is a free stall for them. And there was a caveat to that too. So if for the um, potential, if you take them, if you put them in and they had say 12 or 20 per, uh, percent potential, that will come back when, if you take them out. So when they go in, they lose all their potential. But if you take them out, if I remember correctly, they'll gain whatever potential they add back. But if your horse went in with no potential, it's going to come out with no potential. So, but this is a nice way. So the first 42K gives you four slots and it's like, okay, there are two upgrades. I don't know, um, they're not implemented at the moment. So I don't know how many horses total, if it's gonna be four horses each upgrade, which would be four times three is 12, which would equal your barn. Um, so that's a, that's a distinct possibility. Don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But uh, this is a nice feature. So this is my chocolate sparkle. I really didn't want to. She's a silver dark bay Appaloosa. So I'm going to click on retire. And there you can see her in the background just cruising around wondering where all her pasture mates are. Um, so pretty much my entire herd is out of potential. Um, I have bred one mare, and I don't remember which one it was, I, um, but I did want to put another horse in here. It wasn't Squirrel. I think I wanted to put, it was Bold Ladybug. Um, she's also a silver black tobino. Um, so there she is in the background. Um, these are my new ones down here. It's my homebred. Meadows, Sweet Magnolia. I think I'm going to put Sweet Magnolia in there too. And that's her over here. I mean, I love the patterns. That's why I really don't want to get rid of them. Um, and Meadow is a liver chestnut, which I really love. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll put Bubbly in here. Um, he can be with his girls. Here's my, my ghost baby. And um, really don't want to let him go. So now we have a full pack in here for a full herd. Oh my God, really? Bubbly, dude, was it hot out? Cause it's spring, it shouldn't be hot at all. So <laughs> you had to go take a bath. Okay, cool. They're cruising around exploring their new environment. 
But yeah, so this is a really cool feature, and it was much requested on the Discord. Um, here, I'm trying to pull back some. So it's a nice feature, and this was a, a, a big empty space up here. I wasn't doing anything, so I'm really, really super glad that Eloise um, did, um, which isn't the one I was looking for. Hey, sweetie. This is my new stallion, not wild, that I bought. Let me interact with him. I uh, can't interact with him. I can put a rope on him and move him, though. Now I can interact with him. So this was Super Bolt that I bought from the auction house. Oh, look at Squirrel. I can run to see who the heck else did I not breed? I'm pretty sure I bred. Gotta be Squirrel then. Squirrel, come out of the water, dear. Okay, nobody looks pregnant. Did somebody lose a baby? Nope, she's not pregnant either. Okay, did I just put a pregnant horse in the retirement pasture? Okay. We can give you a cucumber too. Not that I think horses like cucumbers, but okay. Okay, so I've got three horses in this pasture with a stallion and no baby. Um, I'm confused now. <laughs> no word, I just retired somebody who was pregnant, but the game should have stopped me, but okay. Uh, let's see here. So I've got two horses in here. Since I took Bubbly out. Oh, there. There's one right there glitched into the wall. No wonder I couldn't see you. We are crazy. We were blending. You're pregnant. Oh, she is clenched. Okay. So this is this is Lady and she is pregnant um, with Superbolt's foal. And she is um, a Silver Bay Roan. <laughs> Just why? I can kind of clean you. I don't think, I think I got her for, yeah, I got her from the auction house. Okay, I could, guess I can give you a treat. I, I guess I'll leave you there because you'll unglitch when you're ready, baby. <laughs> she just wanted to say hi to the new horses. So this is, this is Bright Blizzard. This is the one that I got from Crystal Lake and she's a Chestnut Roan Sabino. I seem to be having to think for Chestnut Roans lately. Um... So, and she had intermediate stats. You got Dusty and One Night Girlfriend. What the heck? Um, so, Straw, Pitchfork, Clean the Poopy. Eat some breakfast. Um, and then, so yesterday, like I said, we went to Crystal Lake, or not Crystal Lake, Lupine Valley, and we found this girl. Now, she does have only intermediate stats. As you can see, she's got 16 speed, 7 endurance, 25 jump, and 6 flex. Well, but I t <laughs> um, So I did work her a little bit yesterday and stuff. She's quite pretty. I would like to breed her, but with better stats. Um, I am hoping to get the Pine Forest uh, because I would really like to find a Palomino. And I would really like to see what other colors are um, are available. So I'll give you some food. And then I'm going to try. Uh, so we're going to go to the pine forest and work on her endurance because she doesn't have any. <laughs> she has seven endurance. So barley is for endurance. So we're going to see. I just gave her the grain. If that will increase the stats by double, or it's just this, just uh, the track alone. <laughs> Can't talk. It's early in the morning, trust me. Okay, so here we are, this really pretty track for the endurance. So we're going to start. And I have to be careful because low level, they run out of energy like quick. Oh, we're not going to even get it back. Okay.
So I'm going to feed her a treat. And we're doing pears because that's 80% back. One more, one more, one more. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're done. So endurance is now at 23. We started at seven. So I'm going to say, yes, the grain worked. I mean, I can back her up, but that's... Oh, we got a point of flight. Oh my god, really? I didn't give her any grain. I'm just going to see if I can back my way out. She's got a little bit of energy left. Oh, two points. Maybe backing is the way to go. That's what she originally intended. Eloise, if that is. She originally intended to use backing for flex, and people just figured out they could get flex by going in a circle. At a trot. Okay, we're out. And then you can do a little ride by and see your horses in the retirement pasture. They're just having their best time cruising around. I don't know that you can jump off the waterfall though. Let's try that. Probably not. Oh, you can. Holy crap. <laughs> That's so cute. You could jump off the waterfall. I love it. That would kill us, but in any other game. I'm really, really interested to see this location. This is going to be the one of the next. There, there's two other areas. Uh, one is in town at Rivershine uh, on the far side over by where uh, George lives. And then there's this one, the Azure Coast. So... The one by George is a mountainous region, and then this one is obviously a coastal region. So I'm very curious to see what that's going to look like with beaches and maybe some hills and stuff, perhaps. And I'm losing my train of thought. But the ones in the uh, barn do not. So now there's a reason to keep your horses in the barn if you don't want them losing potential. And so you see, she started because she was wild as 100% potential. So we've done two days of training on her. She's now at 64%. So we can't, there, there's not any way we can use the new features to get a beginner horse up to max level stats. But you can use the town statues, but that's going to take a bit, a fair bit of time. Now we will go and work on our other bebe. I think I'm going to race her. Well, maybe let's see what her stats are. So she's in the 40s, except for her jump. Holy crap. Okay, so no, we're going to increase her jump skill because damn. So intermediate stats are in the 20s to high 20s to low 30s. So I got most of her stats up to 40, it looks like. We'll have to check again. Okay, so here we are at the jump uh, training facility in Crystal Lake. So let's go. Now you can jump. I know most of you know this. You can jump either at the canter or the trot, the canter, or the gallop. At this instance, I don't think it matters because your energy is going to deplete faster just because of the the training facility. We're trying to be econom economical. Ooh, economical. Yeah, it's early. I can't talk. Words are hard. Okay, so let's try this other one. Actually, I'm wondering if the trot doesn't, because you're not cantering, if the trot doesn't take less energy. But maybe it's just me. I think it doesn't matter. I'll go one more round to the middle one. 
these really do make it so much easier than just endlessly galloping okay so what is your jump now okay jump now is 36 but I want to get it up again so I don't think I gave her no nope, I did not okay so I gave her a pear remember pear gives 80% I have a feeling watermelon's going to give 100% and I know horses who adore watermelon so that's an actual thing <laughs> cucumber I'm not so sure of but you know it's okay some horses are weird I, I knew a horse that liked a bologna sandwich so who knew horses were meat eaters <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I kicked kicked the box. Okay. I like this Irish Scottish sound Irish sounding music in the background. Crystal Lake. It's quite pretty. The, all of the the music in this game is quite quite pretty. I want to say the soundtrack is available. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Oh, of course, <laughs> everything's got a beep. <sighs> okay, so there's no shinies on this one, so we're just gonna go to. These two over here are shiny. So I don't know why that, if that's a glitch or if at a certain point you just can't use some of them. I don't know. Okay, see now they're all not shiny. So she's done for the day, even though she still has a little bit of energy left. So now her jump is at 43. Yes. So 40, 44, 43, 32, and she's at 59% um, potential. Gonna end the day. And Lady is still glitched into the wall. I hope she doesn't stay there her whole pregnancy. That would be uncomfortable, to say the least. Poor thing. And it's not like I can do an unstuck. You know, slash unstuck. That's what I meant. Not like I can do slash unstuck. Okay, so that was a good day's training for her. She's coming up nicely. All right, so we're going to go to bed and hope that we get a pine forest notice from Jai in the morning. Okay. All right. Doors open. Do we dare? Nope. <laughs> no letter. It's probably going to be another 10 days before we get a uh, notice from Jai. Um, jump and speed, maybe. I don't know if I can do both with your potential being at 14. But we can try it. Um, jump and speed. So jump. Okay, here we are. So let's try this. We'll try it at the trot. So let's wait. Let's. So his jump is at 87. So we're hoping for like 95, 97, something like that. And there is no set way or route in these training things. As long as you're going the way the hoof prints are going, it matters not. Do it any way you want. Stop. So his jump is at 92. Awesome. So let's give you a pumpkin. And 
then we're going to hit all the glowy things again. Might get a hundred. But let's stop and see. We don't want to go over. So his jump is at 93. Okay. Just don't want to. I don't want to keep. Whoops. Trot. Not counter. Before we go into the next circle, I'll check again. 95. We might get 100. That would be my first horse that ever had 100% in any training. I gotta check his potential too. Oh my god. He's got 3% potential, but he's at 97 jumps. So I guess we're going to max his potential out at jump. So each jump, so that's still 97. Ninety-nine and 1% potential. Holy crap. I'm going to go over here. Do this one more jump and see if, if we've made it. 100% and zero potential. <laughs> Okay, well, if you had to have something, I guess jump. <laughs> we will do some races on a different day and see if we can't, because I don't think I have potential. Your horse can't be trained any further. Okay, that's fine. So since he has no potential to lose, I'm going to... You guys are locked up again. I'm going to put him in the pasture. Because until they add the feature where stallions put in with mares can automatically get them pregnant. I'm just going to leave them all out here. Um, Alright, so did Lady unstick herself? She did not. Um, sweetheart, what are we going to do with you? And I can't pull her. So when you give birth, are you still going to be stuck here? Maybe if I send her... No. No horse answered my whistle, except all the other horses. Um, he's out there grazing. Maybe I can send her to her stall. Yes, children. I know. So if I do lady and send a stable. Is she in her stable? She is. Okay, that's one way to unstick. So if she's stuck into the wall, you can just... You can just uh, send her to the stable. Sometimes that works. Right. No, that's not the right one. Seed is corn? Yes. We're going to give you some corn. And, and another thing to make money if you wanted to flip the wild horses. So when I, when I caught her or adopted her, her price at the auction house was $1,100. So having trained her up, and if I win some races with her, her price will increase. So you could do that too. Catch the wild horses, train them up, win some races, and flip them. And they would probably sell the higher their stats and the higher, however many races they've won, that would increase the price. So in addition to foraging or getting horses from the auction house, you can do the, the flipping of the wild horses as well. And that would probably be a thing. Maybe to make some more money. Okay, so here we are. So let's. So I've given her grain, and we're on the speed track. So let's see how much her speed increases. Oh, I never even noticed that the, the trees are planted in between the fence posts. That's so cute.
so we give her we check her speed which is 26 we give her the last pair so we're gonna have to go to sam anyway if we want more pairs 60 40 20 15. okay so let's try it again She was at 26, so let's see if we can get her up into the 30s. Almost missed that one by not paying attention. Don't think we're going to make it all the way around. I think this one might might do us, do us in. Yep. Okay. So now what is it? it was 26 so now it's 35 so that was 10. okay so we're out of stamina actually i i don't know why i have to go out of the track to do this go to the entrance and there we are so what's our potential 45 okay so the statue is glowing, but it's not like bright white, so it's not ready yet. And we're going to go to the entrance. I think I dropped in front of it for once. <clears throat> Okay, then we're gonna put her away. Okay, so her trust is at 7%, so 35, 23, 25, and 8. Boy, we're gonna do something about that 8. Um, so we're gonna sleep. Three, two, one. Nope, not today. All right, we're gonna we're gonna clean the girls up, and we're gonna sleep again and see if that happens. Okay, will we have it? Will there be a letter from Jai saying the horses, wild horses, are in the pine forest? Yes! <laughs> awesome! And he always says, good luck, let me know if you cash one. Well, there, no, there's no interaction with that. He doesn't, he's just like, oh, hey. <laughs> okay, here we are. All right, so where are they? They are right here. And we are right here. So they're off here, and here is the wild horse pen. So let's go see what colors we can find. Oh, I think they're over here. Yeah, they are. It's nice seeing them in the distance. Oh my, okay. Okay, who do we have here? Looks like we have a liver. Ooh, there's a. They're cute. Like a palomino. Bay. Ooh, you're pretty. <laughs> dodge and weave. Weave and dodge. Okay, so we're going with this girl first. Or this. We don't know if it's a girl. So you follow your guide arrow. This is like a race. But if you go to the left of them, that'll push them right. And if you go to the right of them, that'll push them left. So you are being sneaky. Stop it. Whoa, well, that was clever. Okay, so I'm going to push you into the... There you go. Good job, good job. So 
they'll stay there. There's no gate on it. Unlike real wild horses, which would not stay there. They would jump the fence. This one. You, move. Nope. Whoops. You ran into the ran into the trees. Go on. Get out of the trees, kiddo. Nope. Oh, you're glitched now. Seriously. Nope. Now I'm glitched. Can you back out? Yes, you can. Okay, good. No, 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 down. Stop trying to get stuck in trees and rocks. Oh my goodness. Good job. So this is the entire herd of wild horses that we just rounded up. So let's go see what we've got. I want to look at this girl or this horse right here. Vibrant Spirit. Well, that's an interesting name. Is a light Cremello. Ooh, we got a Cremello. Now, what you would never do with a wild horse is go to their butt. Um, but she's got beginner stats. Oh, it's a stallion. Excuse me. He has beginner stats. So, and then we're going to go to this one. Brisk Wind. These are interesting names. Dark Chestnut Tobino, beginner, wait, intermediate speed, but the rest of the stats are beginner, mare, okay, good job, good job, okay, no jumping in the air, pure fox, so that's a new name, light bay, beginner, Everything in beginner except endurance, which is intermediate. And it's a mare. Okay, so we're going to go over to this one. Ooh, look at that head marking. Lush Tornado. How? Okay. Buttermilk Buckskin Tobino. Holy cow. Okay, so we're going to go over here. It's a mare. Look at that face marking. And everything is beginner speed. I'm going to talk to you. Lush Cyclone. Stallion. Let's just, just, okay, what do you do? <laughs> All beginner stats. Oh, okay, that, that wasn't who I wanted to pet. Can't, no, no, can't even move. Did I talk to you yet? I did. There, you're the buttermilk buckskin. Oh, that was creepy. Did I talk to you yet? Yes, you're brisk wind. And you're pure fox. Okay, so I think I've talked to everybody, but the two stallions are just like uh, stuck together. So I'm pretty sure that's a liver chestnut or a black bay, but until I can get between them. I don't know if I can use my horse and beside them. Oh no, wait, now they're now they're separated. Come here you. Stop, stop. Okay, so it's somewhere there we go. Liver chestnut. I was right. Okay, so so I've got two stallions and three mares. I only take one home. I like the Cremello. That one's pretty. Less tornado, buttermilk buckskin, and then light Cremello. There's a stallion. Intermediate jump. All beginner stats. Like Carmelo. I don't know. So we've got there. There. Oy vey. So 
I take the Carmelo Stallion or do I take the Buttermilk Buckskin Tobino Mare? Decisions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and these three are like, would you just pick one? Pick one of us. Lush Cyclone, Lush Tornado, Brisk Wind. Okay, do we see a pattern here? Lush Cyclone, Lush Tornado, Brisk Wind, Vibrant Spirit. And what was your name again? Pure Fox. Okay, well, I think Pure Fox is not one of the contenders. Brisk Wind. No. It's a choice between this Vibrant Spirit and this guy. This girl, Lush Tornado. I really like the coloring and the way the, the color goes down into the black on the thing, but I think we're going to go with the Carmelo to buy now. Maybe. I mean, we could always, we don't have to adopt anybody. I can always. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I always take her, read her, train her stats up, well, train her stats up, read her one or two times, keep the full, and then sell her. I don't know, yours went back when I said there's a really? <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to not take the Carmella. We're going to adopt you because I can bring your stats up, hopefully. And see, they all vanish. It's creepy. You should see them just run away. But I, I understand, Eloise. It's I am not a game developer. I do not deal with the um, complexities of making a game. Um, so we'll talk to this one. And I love this. It's an interesting face marking. And the nose is pink right there. That's like new. So now we have a, a bit of a pink and black muzzle. And the... The other girl behind it has a totally pink muzzle. I like how the, the, the gray or the buttermilk descends into black on the legs. That's super cool. Okay, so I'll give you some food. Zero trust. So speed is 13, endurance is 18, jump is 10, flex is 15. So that's good. So I'm not going to do anything with her today, and I'm actually just going to keep her name. Um, all right, so we're going to end it here, guys. I will see you next time, and thank you so much for joining. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.